Hello everybody, after a long break, uh, we are back with the ladder hour. Oh, actually a 7k, well, almost 7k MMR Protoss, that's very high. At the, the time that I'm recording this is 2pm uh, for, for the European time. So I am guessing this is, this has to be either Showtime barcode or max packs, but I think Showtime doesn't play on a barcode. So it has to be max packs, we'll see in the in the game. I'm actually curious. That's very high MMR. I never reached uh, 7k MMR on, uh, on my account and Max Bucks is closing in. I don't think he breached 7k either, but he's really close. I think he's uh, in a very good form overall uh, at the moment. Max Bucks that is. Uh, let's try to give him a, a good fight. We are at 6.6 I think uh, MMR. So we're not too far away. And uh, we are starting with, a, with an older map in the map of Blackburn. Maybe we'll find something interesting. I, I am kind of feeling a bit adventurous today. Maybe maybe I'll just play something different than, uh, than usual on these maps, uh, the one gate expand maps. Maybe two gate? Do I want to go two gate? I'm not sure. I think I'll just make a Nexus. I will make a Nexus before he blocks it. I, I want to see. He's going to uh, attack me. I think with like a Zealot and a, and a Pylon in my wall. I'll try to prevent that. We'll see if it's, if it's going to be possible. I'm kind of not making any probes at the moment. Go for the Cyber Core. He, doesn't, he didn't block my Nexus just yet. Okay. Gonna make a pylon. Oh, pylon, please. Thank you. Now we're gonna make a zealot. Who's winning the probe fight? Oh, he is. Shit. That's pretty bad. Okay. I'm blocking him from blocking me. Okay, that's good. That is very good. Where's his zealot? Oh, well, we're gonna win the fight. He kills the pro, which is to be expected. There's a stalker. I have a stalker too. Oh, we want to... Ah, he's preventing me from blocking him any... Uh, with any cybernetics core or gateways. Yeah, 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 look at this. Yeah, he's smart, okay. We're gonna start with a Phoenix. We're gonna start with a Phoenix too. But I have a whole expansion advantage now. I don't know, I want to... I wanted to uh, actually commit to see if he made a nexus. Oh, yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. He has two stalkers, guys. I can't really recall them. Alright, we're gonna lose the stalker. Maybe we're not. Oh, he... He's smart. He changed the, the Phoenix to an Oracle. Okay. I don't mind this. This, this was a, a smart move by him. So I don't mind this. Okay, he recalls. But now I have a huge Phoenix advantage and I have a faster expansion, but I think that Oracle actually did enough damage for it to be even. That really cost me quite a lot, not gonna lie. I have four Phoenixes. Is he making Phoenixes himself now? I don't think so. Oh, he is, okay. I need to be careful now. So I have the Phoenix advantage at least.
He already has a second Stargate in the building. I'm not sure what my move is going to be. I have to, I guess, keep making phoenixes. But the problem is he has a faster Stargate. But I have a much faster Nexus, right? It should be fine for me. <laughs> it's a bit of a tricky situation. I don't like these fights, I don't like Phoenix versus Phoenix. I kind of force myself in here. In a situation that I don't feel too comfortable in. Maybe we can snipe a Phoenix. Or a probe. It's fine too. I think my probe count should be somewhat even now. Uh, however, well, maybe I will supply blocked a bit uh, longer. I am not sure. I'm going to Fleet Beacon. Is he going to come here with the Phoenixes, I wonder? No. So, I think I need to kill my gate. I think I need to recall my probes, because I, I have a full wall off, right? So I can't... I can't move my probes to the third base, I will just recall a big portion of it. It will take me too long to kill a gateway with this one stalker. Okay, now it's just a matter of can I get faster? Uh, faster uh, Phoenix range. My apologies. I have a much faster third base than he does, but I'm a bit worried that he understands that he's behind in the Phoenix count and he might actually go into DTs. In that case, I think I'll just invest into a singular Oracle, just in case this this is the case. <laughs> just in case this is the case. Alright, so we need to transfer some probes. I really, I'm really happy with the recall that I did to the third base. I think it was a smart decision. Okay, let's go. No, what? A lag? Oh, that's my side. Uh, all right, I don't know. We'll just fight. I don't know who's winning. I think he's winning. Yeah, I, I don't know, I just wanted to fight. How come he had just so many? Maybe he just microed better. I don't know, I'm... GG. I, I had a much better, much better economy. I just screwed up. So I was in a better city. Like, if I would be casting this game, I would be like, yeah, the blue Protoss has a big advantage. But I want to see the Phoenix count, actually. He must have had a bit more. That's a bit awkward. 14 to 14. Oh, Phoenix range actually finished at the same time. I think... Okay, this is the moment we fight. It's actually 16 to 15. Oh, so like I... I s okay, so he was preparing for a fight. And you can see in this situation, all his Phoenixes are clamped up. So like, they almost all of them shoot at the Phoenix, right? So before the actual fight happens, look, I, I, I have already three Phoenixes damaged. And then before I arrive, Look at how the fight is going to look like. See, before the uh, the fight actually arrives, I have this many phoenixes that are not participating in the fight. And this is the amount of phoenixes that start participating. So, like, I fight with half of my phoenixes at first, while he starts off all of his phoenixes at the same time. So, I just... I was not expecting him to meet him in here, in the middle of the map with the phoenixes. While he was being very, very cautious. So, even though I had an advantage in the game, the, the, the smallest mistake like this can cost you the game. I could have maybe disengaged, right? Because I, I couldn't understand, uh, I, I couldn't know the exact amount of phoenixes he has. Uh, from the game flow, I 
thought I might have maybe a Phoenix advantage or something like that. So I just decided to, to fight no matter what. But that's the thing. I fought no matter what. I didn't fight well and he fought well. And that's why he won this fight very convincingly. Mm, a bit sad that I lost this game like that. But it is what it is. Phoenix versus Phoenix can be really annoying to deal with and annoying to play against. Oh, immediate game two. It might be a rematch. It is a rematch indeed. All right, fair enough. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Max Flax uh, based on the uh, on the gameplay, but we'll see in this game as well. Well, game number two on one of the new maps, the Glittering Ashes. I think I I haven't played a PvP on this map yet, uh, other than one uh, one map versus Zest that I have played in uh, Stay at Home Story Cup that is happening the moment I. Uh, I am recording this, for you it's already in the past. And he just all in me here. <laughs> Wasn't that a cool game? Not at all. But the, because of the size of the map, I think one gate expanding might be the way to go. Uh, on these new maps. I am not uh, convinced, uh, as I have no ex too much uh, experience on, on the maps, obviously, so my opinions might change. But I think PvPs might go into the late game more often on these maps. I think it's hard to uh, to find uh, proper timing attacks. Because as big as this map is and there's many avenues to attack, I think, uh, I think it's still quite choky. So like the, the bigger the armies are, the, uh, the harder it is. Uh, to close out the game. So I think that's what's gonna happen in PvPs. Please don't tell me I lose the plot. Okay. Stop stealing my minerals. You don't do that thing. Right. I can make a nexus. I think he screwed up again. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if he screwed up, but... He's going for a star gate. Oh! Oh, please! I, I screwed up. I'm the one screwing up now. So I'm going uh, something different. I'm not going to Stargate this game. I'm not sure if I'll pay the price or not for this. He saw the adept, right? Okay. Oh wait, what? I did. I. F I. Am, I like. I swear to you. I swear to you that I I saw the uh, the gate were actually not producing. I have no idea where this setup came from. It's all right. I'll make uh, one uh, battery in the natural. I'll warp in stalkers in my main. Should be fine. I, I don't mind this setup here. Yeah, he realized that too. Now the Oracle is going to be arriving in my main. Just need to be ready for that. And now we need to block this. Okay, there we go. Perfect planning. Big brain gaming. Now I don't know if he's going for double oracle which is i think is quite likely oh <gasps> i am not mining gas i was wondering why do i have so many pro <laughs> okay that was see the... oh my god <laughs> i even blocked myself in 
So that's the problem. Because I had to spend so much attention on re rearranging my gas, that Oracle actually found damage. And it is a big deal. Now I cannot make a third base because I blocked myself in. I don't like where I am not now at. I am in a position that I don't feel comfortable at. I should be starting a third base now. And I can't. Well. Six. Hello? Okay. So he goes here. I think I will have faster plus one. Which is nice. But I am a bit worried that he will make DTs. Actually, I can make a stalker here. And I need a lot, uh, a lot more gateways now. I like that I have DT shrine. It actually can help me. Let's find some damage. I mean, I don't think I'll be able to find damage, but I just want to see if I can find damage, you know what I mean? Let's see. My upgrade finished. Oh, he has a third base already done. Hello? He has blink too. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Okay, so I'm in a worse position now. I didn't check if he has plus one. That's one of my main problems. Did he see the DT shrine? He has a cannon? But no. Well, I'm dead now. I think I'm just straight up dead. In a, in a sense that I cannot kill him. If you cannot kill your opponent, you need to. And you need to expand, which I do need to expand. It's a bit problematic. How come he had a cannon there? That's actually quite crazy. Maybe he understood my position better than I understood it. I'm a bit worried about the Oracle still flying around. I, and I do not have a sentry. I need to click on his units. Hello, Mr. Observer. Okay. It's not so bad, uh, looking at his army at least. But I think he's taking up. He's probably going for DTs himself. So I need to start making cannons. Um, transferring some of my probes. Maybe, a, maybe a, an immortal would be nice in here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll just make some Archons. I'm playing very scared at the moment. Yeah, this Observer doesn't really give me much information. Let's start plus three. As soon as possible. Is he going for Disruptors? That's a another question. I need a cannon here too. I think it's fairly likely he's going to drop TTs. He's going for more gateways, okay. So he creates this kind of a cool wall of... Oh, through prism? Oh, free third base. Oh my god, I was not ready. My entire mineral line is just gone like that. But at least he doesn't have a reinforcement point. So maybe I can win the fight, but I'm not sure. I can win the game. 
after that because it was still somewhat of an even trade. And now I don't have props at my third. Well, he does. Uh, it was not good. Now I wish I had Templar archives instead of TTs. Because I'm lacking minerals, but I'm not lacking gas. Yeah, he just continues fighting now. Makes sense. There's nothing I can do to counterattack him. So I can just try and defend. Where is he going? Wait, he doesn't have an observer, so maybe I can defend with DTs. At least he doesn't seem to have an observer. Okay, now I have DT shrine. Okay, he's just going to attack like this. Oh, there's the observer. Well, now I'm screwed. Yeah, he just has too much now. That's when my entire economy is gone. At least I sniped the observer so I can now defend with the DTs. But what kind of a defense it is if I'm actually dead? My plus freeze will soon to be done. But yeah, I'm again losing my entire economy. There's another Observer, GG. Uh, I just didn't see him coming this way. Oh. I had a much faster plus 3. Yeah, I, I didn't mind... ...the position I was in when I saw his army, but... ...overall I still think I was behind from the beginning. Because of the Oracle. If we look at the resources collection rate, he should be a... ...ahead. Yeah, that's where, where the Oracle kicked in. I was still somewhat ahead after that. But then, yeah, third base kicked in because he was able to take a third base faster, right? So this is, the, like, the game was going fine for me. Right? Like, he's here uh, ahead a bit. I'm ahead here. But this is where the Oracle kicked in. The moment when I put my probes back into the gas and my suckers were not in position because of that. That's when he could plant a third base. And this is where the third base finished. So he was constantly... Ahead after that. A bit sad loss, but yeah, he, he played a, a very good game, so I, I will accept it. Beastie Cutie as a Protoss, alright. <laughs> I, I remember playing versus Beastie Cutie when he was still an active pro gamer. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if it was my last game versus him that I played, but. Uh, I just remember a game versus him still on the map, Whirlwind. Like, you guys probably don't even know what Whirlwind is, but yeah, that was a map in uh, Wings of Liberty. Pretty sure it was Wings of Liberty. I don't think it, if it was Heart of the Swarm. I've been playing this game for a long time, okay, guys? I don't remember every single map and every single expansion. I've been playing this for 11 years, kind of blurs in together eventually. But I'm fairly convinced it was a Wings of Liberty map. I just remember him walking to the storms. Continuously. Good times. Good times. He always had good macro. He always had like uh, a lot of uh, units ready. His micro was kind of lacking though. <laughs> yeah, now he plays Protoss. And as we all know, Protoss doesn't need to macro. Sorry, micro. The moment when you try to be funny and then you fail. Basically, a story of my life. All right, let's see what he's doing. One get expanding. Okay. Of course. So will I. I kinda like the target opener better in one gate expand. But what I don't like about this target opener is that it kinda leads into the Phoenix versus Phoenix. And this is what I don't like. Uh, am I winning the probe fight? Not sure. Well, he's blocking me quite early. I think I'll. I wanted maybe to save the Chrono Boost for my Warp Gate, but I Chrono Boosted the probes. Okay, so he finishes the pylon. And he's not making a gateway unit. I'm not sure about that.
Is he making us target immediately? He should be. Maybe he's faking me, maybe he's like forgating or something. Okay, well. There's the stalker. I am so confused right now on what he's doing that I will actually make a sentry in a second gateway. Hello? Okay. I'm not getting him in. I think I'll let the cybercore finish. He doesn't have a zealot. So it will just take forever for him to finish. It's it's a lot of money wasted for me. But it just I think it just it is going to pay off. Yeah, he's pulling probes to make a nexus. Hmm. Yeah, the aftermath is I'm not sure if it, if it actually is worth it, but it might be. I kind of need a pylon, right? I'm getting closer to the supply block, and I think he made us target eventually. Let's see. That scouting phoenix is actually quite crucial. Hmm. I'll warp in one stalker here. Now we don't know if he actually made a nexus, but uh, keeping in mind that he actually sent probes to the mine from the natural indicates that he... Oh! What? Phoenix Robo. Oh. I mean, in the meantime, there's a... Yeah. Oh, that's very bad for me. I didn't see this adapt. Alright, so we are going to be going for a charge lot Archon attack. I already started charge. I'm not going to go for Blink, because he has Phoenix Robo. I'm not sure why I'm making Temple Archives so early, but so be it. I'll just go here. Make a third gate. I will skip Forge right now. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm doing the right thing. But it might be. I kind of just... Because he's going for the Phoenix uh, Robo, I feel like he's just going to have so many tech units that he might not have the critical mass uh, of uh, the, uh, against my own units. Like, I will be able to deny his third base, I think, at the very least. But the question is, which third base is he going to take? Alright, I'm going to have charge finishing fairly soon. I will have, what, four gates? I'll need a fifth and sixth, I think. If he has an observer, it's actually going to be quite scary. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I was about to morph in Archons, and if I morph in Archons, I don't think I can squeeze through here. Or maybe I can. I don't want to try, though. Okay. No, Phoenixes, can we feedback? Hello? I'm making a base. Making a base. Hello? Yes. Yes! Okay, that's perfect. So now his phoenixes are useless. But he has an observer. I could see an observer around here. Hello? Phoenixes? He was thinking I'm going blink, I think. Alright, so I'm going to deny the berries right now. At least. He's going to be very defensive. Is he making a base or not? I need some probes. Yeah, he's yeah, he's just not making a base now. Wait, can I just go here? He doesn't have a freaking battery even. I'm just walking in. <laughs> what? I was about to just, you know, not let him take a third. Why do why wouldn't you have a battery? Like you see a lot of chart lots with your observer. Of course I'm going to attack you. I mean obviously he's a he's a main Terran player, so. 
the brain is lacking. <laughs> I mean, wow, he was going double robo in the meantime. Interesting. Singular Sarge, double robo, no third base. All right. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's just a big mismatch, right? Uh, he's not he's not a main Protoss player, and I'm still one of the best PvP players in the world, so it's just a little bit of a mismatch. I have a feeling he's going to quit the game before we start. No? Okay, very well. Let's play. A rematch on the same map. Wait, it, sorry, it's not the same map. I, they kind of feel very similar though, but it's not the same map. The previous one was Glittering Ashes. This is the Hardwire. It's a bit... Just a tiny bit different. But the, the way that the third base and fourth base work, that kind of really... Feels like it's the same map all the time. I wonder if he's going to... I, yeah, I, I still think he's going to one gate expand. Uh, but I don't think he's going to do the same strategy. Like Phoenix and Robo. Or actually he might, he might do it. But he might do it, you know, <laughs> with with a shield battery. Because if you don't have a shield battery like that, if you're going for such a defensive unit composition that, you know, like basically a Protoss mech, there's no reason not to have a shield battery. Your units are not going to be one shot, so the battery will always heal them. One gate expand. Yeah, we're all gonna be one gate expanding now. Double pylon. He scouted me. Okay, let's make a cybernetic score. Okay, I'm winning the probe fight. He's mining gas immediately, 3 by 3 And again he's making this pylon. I'm not sure about this. Is he going he's going to finish the pylon, right? He, because it's just the way he plays, I feel like. Okay, now he made the zealot. Okay, there's the adjustment. Where's the Stargate? He's not making a Stargate? What? Alright. It's a Stalker. Give me the Nexus. I think he just wants to start this Stargate and Robot at the same time, so I don't see it. it kinda makes sense. I'm gonna just be attacking him now. I want to just change up my strategy just a bit. I'm being supply blocked. Good stuff. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool place for a pylon. Ooh. Hello? Adopt? Of course he's not watching. Why would he be watching his only unit that is scouting? I'm not gonna kill it. Battery is quite late. Wah! I'm gonna lose the Zenit. I have a feeling he's going to make an Oracle, right? Can I break him before he has warp gate? Oh, yes, there is a void ray. That's not gonna be possible. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good fight for me. Even though I lose a couple of stalkers, 
This is fine. Because he's relying on defending with the vo with the void rays. Like why would he move out? Outside of the battery range with a void ray. It's just bad micro. Now it's over. Gonna use shield battery overcharge, we back off. And we come back in a second with a Oh I want to say with another round of stalkers but I'm supply blocked, so I guess not. There's going to be another void ray, we'll just Just break through. There's another patch of stalkers. Actually he doesn't have much defense. I could have maybe broken him. But I think with uh, 12 stalkers I have currently, it's just going to be enough. Okay, now he activates the prismatic alignment, we go back, we warp an additional batch of stalkers, so 16 in total. And we are safe. Unless he has an immortal on the way, which is possible. Oh, there's the immortal. Oh, wait, there's a second pylon, I missed it. It's okay, we can just one shot him, or two shots, for that. Matter GG is called. Yeah, the the reason why he's losing so easily is because he delays his stargate for the longest time. If you're going to one gate expand like this, you need to start stargate immediately. Because then you'll see what happens. I can just overpower him easily. Just not a good macro opener for him. Alright guys, and with that game, we're going to be finishing this episode of Ladder Hour. It was just 4 PvPs and I know it can be kind of repetitive, but maybe next time we'll have some other races finally showing up, because it feels like Protosses are the only one practicing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care and bye bye.